Every second, every minute, man, I swear that she can get it Say if you a bad bitch, put your hands up high Hands up high, hands up high Tell them dim the lights down right now Put me in the mood, I'm talking What's up, y'all? It's Mo Dizzle Back in the shizzle Filming on a go grizzle In my badizzle I'm back at home from skazizzle What? So I'm y'all, but what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. I don't know why I have so much energy. I know why. I'm on spring break. Period. But I'm on spring break. Um, I just got back like 10 minutes ago from school and i'm on spring break and this video i'm not gonna lie to you i have no idea what this clip is going to be in but just know that video is going to eat i already know that but this is you know oh no i just got back and i'm about to do my hair i'm about to do like some fulani knotless braids because i just want to feel spring break here so i'm not going anywhere because my brother's in high school and our spring breaks do not align at all so we're not going anywhere but it's okay so i'm gonna do my hair to make it seem like and get cute and i'm gonna make my mom take me somewhere well i'm gonna go with her i'm gonna make her i'm gonna ask her actually she starts to off work so wednesday we're gonna go like just hang around dc and like just shop and just walk and eat it's supposed to be hot that's why i asked her to take off but i just got back i just came from various stores um i don't know but first i got the summer fridays uh what's it called the cherry what is this what is it called cherry yeah cherry the summer fridays cherry lip lip balm i had it on i wiped it off because i want y'all to see the test but um i'm a sucker for any lip gloss any lip balm so i had to get it i don't care i will 100 percent spend $20 in lip gloss if it's good. I am 100% a supporter of Beauty Spot Store. Beauty Spot Store. And Beauty Spot Store in contact. Um, but they begin, those begin missing all the time. So hopefully. But oddly enough, I never lose my expensive ones, which is so funny. Like Fenty, Dior, Summer Fridays. I'm sorry, guys. I definitely did get the road Hailey Bieber. We do not support her on this channel. If you do support her, I'm so sorry, but exit. Anyways, yeah. So back to the review. Um, they came up with two new colors, or scents, flavors, whatever. It was pink, sugar, and cherry. I was 100% on board for the pink. It was cute, but then I saw reviews, and it looked like just clear lip gloss. So I was like, I might as well get this one, because it had like a little bit of tint. But, lips looking real crusty and dry. We see her, we're going to put her on. I'm only going to put a little bit because this is like really colorful. And it kind of looked a little off my skin tone, but. Oh. <laughs> this kind of looks like my cheer makeup, like the red. Oh. Um, like, okay. I look like a DMV girl, but like a subtle DMV girl. I went to the store. Um, Beauty Spot store, Walgreens, and Whole Foods are all in here. I only got one thing from Whole Foods. Let's go to that. Um, L Glutamin. I got this simply because my gut health sucks so badly, guys. Um, my gut health is on zero. Like, it just sucks so badly. Um, it's mainly because um, my favorite food is grilled cheese. Meaning, I eat a lot of dairy products. Therefore, poor gut health, dairy. I'm not lactose, but still, it's like, you know, not really the best for your gut and stuff like that. So, this just helps bloating. This helps overall gut health. It's just, you know, just a good supplement to take. So, I'm going to test it out. I'm going to see if I can see any difference. And um, I should be able to remember to update you guys on how that goes. But Oh, and then I went to Walgreens. They had the Camille Rose um, hair growth oil. 
OG price is like sixteen dollars on sale for five. And once I registered, like I was the guy rung it up and it was like sixteen. I said, excuse me, it was a seventy five percent off tag or something like that. And he was like, oh really? He looked. He was like, oh it's an old tag, but I still got you. I should have one hundred percent stacked up. I should have, but. I just got one because these bottles last a long time. I still have another one in my house that I haven't even used. That's why I was like, no, I need to stack up. Anyway, from the beauty supply store, favorite edge control. I mean, favorite um, braiding gel. Um, I typically use the purple one. You see, it's all gone. But they only have pink. But I mean, I don't really know. Like, am I the only one who gets confused between extreme and supreme? Like, aren't they both like good? I don't know, but we got this one. I don't really, I have jam, but I don't really like Shauna jam because it, it can get kind of greasy. This doesn't leave any like oily sheen or anything. I got another comb because I like the comb with the little ridges on it so I can like part it nicely. And it's pink. And then I got a, this is an eyeliner, but I want it to, for, to line my lips, you know. Honestly, I feel like this would be kind of better with like, you know some brown to contrast it from being so red i hope it's not scary on camera like i really hope not because i'm gonna be really mad but it's okay like it's i don't know it's okay and then i just got one pack of pre-stretched braiding hair in the color two um, because I was 100% going to get two packs of these, but I just know I have a vault of, um, leftover braiding hair in my house. And I was like, let's just be smart about this and just get three. So yeah, this got her 56 inches. And yes, yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm about to do. Yo, I'm tired. We're going to do this hair tomorrow. yesterday when I like talked to y'all <sighs> um it's currently like two o'clock something like that I'm about to start my right hair so we're gonna see how long it takes but um I'm doing Fulani tribal braids I don't really know what the difference is between those but we're gonna go with Fulani braids um Fulani knotless braids which is basically just you know straight back right here and the rest is just like knotless and then I was going to do some curly pieces because I've done Fulani braids before. So I was like, let's do some curly pieces to add some pizzazz or whatever. Um, so I basically just took, uh, I do this all the time. Oops. I do this all the time with my bundles. If I ever do a curly piece, I like to use human hair. I feel like it looks nice and it also lasts. But. I've been staying corrected. I just recently did my roommate's hair with synthetic curly pieces. Like, it was like free tress, like wavy hair. When I say that joint looks so good and it was synthetic, it looks so good. But the thing about that is that it's really, really curly. It looked really cute and it was a look that she was going for. Um, and sometimes I honestly might do the curly look in the summertime, but right now I kind of want like a chill, wavy, not really curly. So I literally just, these are just some old tracks that i took took some old tracks and then i just put mousse on it and then braided it up so that it can be like really, really curly because this is body wave hair so you know i want to be a little bit curlier
She said, <laughs> All of my bitches got friends. Yeah. <laughs> All of my bitches got friends. Yeah. And they bad, they bad, so we're good. It's enough for the clean. <laughs> Word. All of my bitches got friends. <laughs> you don't need to pick. No, all of my bitches Look, got I ain't really gotta rap about it, I just talk about it cause I live it now So let me tell you about this PYT that I seen last week I had to take a bow Five two with a brown fur and a hand tied with them light eyes and She would make me throw it all the way for a fun time and a right prize Bad as fuck, ass fatter than a hammer truck Ass could probably keep my hammer tucked The type of slide I'm down and then the penny stuck I run a mug, wanna kick it with ya Get a house and a pick it with ya Hop up on your at your workplace, not your birthday Just to let them niggas know I'm better with ya Your best friend always coming through with them cold and cook them when you're home alone And I ain't even trying to dog you out But can you feed a nigga just a little bone? One of you, one of me, you and me We make three or maybe four And just two more just to even scores Step two, I had to play chess Had to hit her with the full press Then I told her I had to win anything Just a chat with her for a quick set Let it sit, let it process Then she put the shit, so yes Whisper to me, I told her, baby, I won't let you I'm not even more sex, All of my bitches got friends And they bad, they bad So we're good, it's enough for the click <laughs> Word. All of my bitches got friends You don't need to pick No, all of my bitches got friends yeah, All of my women got friends Most of them black with a blend most of them off on the ends, and they don't care who they offend. Look, I had a girl who was tatted up from the neck down, she was super crazy. Met a shorty with an ill grandma who would fight a lot, and she a 90s baby. Complain about me, y'all was on the road and talked to other women, and she wanted babies. Had to shake it like a common cold, then I had a show, and then I saw your baby. Then I book it, now we texting back to back to back to back with no indication. Now I'm flying to you, taking you across the world to see a couple different faces. Hood nigga dreams, fuck like movie scenes. Hit it from the back, boost your self esteem. Heard you left to visit cousin them Reconnect them with your mama now Now you want me to fly the sweet Have to fly you to the motherland You was mine and I am yours And you to mine when I go on tour I ain't really tryna play no games I can win the battle, you can win the war I'm just tryna fucking love you either on the battle Say hello? Hmm? Hello? You look so pretty, dog. I'm so sorry guys, it's currently the next day and I did finish my hair, so let me just show you guys my hair, hold on. Okay, this this is lit, I like the lighting better in the other area, but. All right, so yeah, this is the hair. And then we have, in order the clothes are washing, it's Sunday. And we have some curly ends, I didn't even finish curling all of them because I was really tired. And then we have some distributed throughout my hair, some curly pieces right here. But yeah, she's really, really long. Um, yeah, but I think she's super duper cute. I'm about to do my own nails. He's really, really loud. Let's turn him down. But yeah, I'm about to do my own nails. Let me set you guys up so I can talk. We did the hair maintenance, and you guys know I always do my own lashes. So maybe I might go ahead and do those, but I was really not trying to do individuals. I was going to put some clusters on because individuals take a long time. Um, You see where no lash, but I'm about to do my own nails. I was going to go get them done, but I decided to just do them at home. Um, During quarantine, I... I learned how to do my own like acrylic nails they weren't the best because I literally only did like maybe three sets um, so they weren't ever like you know up to perfection but um, the style that I want to do it's really just regular square plain black gel nails so I already have the tips I got brushes we got um, this is the drill you know acrylic powder we have all that also got some little like gem stuff like that i have the whole nine in here so 
I'm still trying to decide if I really want to do like honestly, I think I'm just gonna go ahead and try it because at first I was going to just paint these because I feel like my nails have grown and I feel like I just gotta clean them up shape them and then I was gonna just paint them black I was gonna do that because I was kind of feeling black you know I don't know um but I think I'm gonna just go ahead and try and try with the acrylics um I just have it in this mailbox from the Black Friday sale like a long time ago. But yeah, we're gonna go ahead and try and we're gonna see how this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna start off by just like cleaning them. Um, we have our own like nail kit. Every time we go to a nail salon, we bring this when they do our toes and stuff like that because we don't really trust that they clean their products nice enough. So, my mom has her own little kit. I really don't be getting my nails on. If I do, I go to, like, my friends and, like, I trust them. My nail tech, stuff like that. But, yeah, so I'm about to just... First, I'm about to go ahead, wash them, clean them, get all the dirt out of them, like, underneath with, like, the little scraper thing. I'm going to push the cuticles back, cut the cuticles, just get them clean, and then, like, use a brush, brush it with some soap. We're going to do all that, and then I'm going to come back and show you guys the aftermath of that. Hey, y'all, so I just literally, well, let's see if I can pause. I just buffed, cleaned, cut, pushed the cuticles back for the nails. They look super, super good. Um, And what I decided to do is only because I cannot stand the smell of monomer. I do not feel like opening that up. Um, no matter if you open the window, get a purifier, it will still be in your room, basement. The only way you can do is go outside. And it's actually very cold outside, so no thanks. But, so I decided I'm going to just do tips and then use the black gel. Like that. So I just have these BT Art Box False Nails. I got this on Amazon, like, literally like three years ago. Um, they're just clear tips. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pick up the tips. I'm going to pick up the tips and then I'm going to like just size them. So for example, like this fits my nail. I'm going to go ahead, size it, glue it on there, and cut them down. So I'm doing kind of like short nails, you know. So literally like these, but just a little bit longer. Um, and also some of my nails are kind of uneven. That's also why I'm not just doing my natural nails but yeah we're gonna go ahead and figure out the sizing cut them glue them on and then we can start the process of painting them all right y'all we have to take a little detour i realize i don't have nail glue so we have to go to boost spot start with some nail glue all of my bitches got friends you don't need to pick no, all of my bitches yeah. got you and all your girls bad as fuck. Put your hands up. You and all your girls bad as fuck. Put your hands up. You and all your girls bad as fuck. Put your hands up. Yeah. Put your hands up. What? Put your hands up. If you and all your girls bad as fuck. Put your hands up. So I just glued all the tips on and I have like um, an acrylic nail cutter and I'm going to go pretty short honestly and it just cuts like that. I think yeah that's literally perfect length I'm going to do. I'm going to do that for all of them. Cut them. Yeah. We're gonna go short, cute, and sweet. Okay, so I just cut the nails to the shape that I want. And my dog is almost laying in the sun. Um, but now I'm gonna show you guys. But I just cut them to the shape that I want. This is like the length and how short I want. I'm gonna use my drill. And I'm going to basically, like, you see, come here, you see where, like, the tips meet? Like, you can see the connect, like, the disconnect between the tips and the actual nail beds. I'm going to go ahead and um, 
file that down so it's like smooth. You're going to just like file that line right where the nail bed and the nail tip meets. So we're going to just file that down and it basically just makes it smooth. If you don't have one of these, you can literally just use a regular nail file. It just takes a little bit longer. So, you know, might as well use the resources that we have. And also, I'm gonna go ahead and just like buff the whole thing, even up here, because that just kind of helps the, when we do put the polish on, it helps the gel stick. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and do that for all of them. You just kind of brush. And be careful, don't turn up too high because y'all will burn your nails and it hurts so badly. So look at that. Now it's nice and smooth and it literally looks like your nail. She is shaped, filed, and you can see how they're smooth now. That's what we want. Okay. All right. Let's see if I like this. Oh, yeah, it's cool. cool. Oops. My camera's gonna die, but we're going to just. Ooh, pretty. It's just clear. My camera ended up dying, but the rest of the steps, I finished my nails before I show y'all. I'm gonna show you the rest of the steps I did. After I did the top coat, um, I used my UV lamp. Um, I got from Amazon. I'm gonna show you the brand in the box. This is the brand. Sorry, the sun is gleaming. Cured it with the regular black um, I used some regular black gel after I put that on top I just use some regular um, top coat and then this is what she looks like the looks this is what she looks like literally plain I just wanted something really plain and something other than French tip or white I feel like it just gives like classy and it's like shaped really nicely that's kind of the goal like i feel like like they're cute something different i don't know i feel like people stay away from black but it's kind of cute I don't know. good morning guys um it is the next day after we did our nails they're still intact still looking good as they should um but right now it is like three o'clock and i'm about to go where am i about to go i'm about to go to the thrift store so um i'm about to go to the thrift store um just wearing very basic just a little hold on let me pull it down very basic we're just wearing a regular h&m little Top jacket and then some random leggings. Pretty sure I got from like Ross or something. All right, y'all. I found these Arizona jeans. They're really cute, and I'm gonna cut them into like into some shorts or something. You also like the key is looking at the kids section and get like some cute like some cute baby tees. That'd be cute too. So we're gonna keep looking. So obsessed with my hair and the lighting looks so good. Like, isn't it super cute? And like the you know the curly ends, I gotta recurl them, but I'm back home. Ooh, my glasses are so dirty. Grill club. Wait. Cool. Grill. Cool wrap. It's a cool wrap. 
grilled cool wrap chicken sandwich really really good you're probably like oh that healthy food you go to chick-fil-a to get a wrap it's so good like i don't know i just always get it it's really good and what i do is i put um just regular barbecue sauce on it and honey mustard dressing it's fat free honey mustard dressing you're probably like honey mustard it's just so good like the combo go crazy all right, so before I eat, I want to show y'all. Ugh! The light is so dark. Uh. This was, you guys already saw these jeans. They're just regular Arizona jeans, and they're like a dark denim type of look. And they're in the men's section, and they're kind of like... Honestly, I feel like the waist will be okay, but they're kind of bigger, but like they're long. They're like um, 36 in length. So I was like, wait a minute, if they fit like really, really long, like ugly, I can just cut them. Remember I told y'all earlier I wanted to get jorts. Um, the lighting is just so dark. I'm sorry, but yeah, so if I don't like them, I could just like, you know, cut them to like, you know, the jean shorts that I wanted, like really long jean shorts. I was like, I can just do that if they're really, really long and ugly. I ended up finding a leather coat and it's not like trench, but it's still, it's longer. And then also what I was specifically like looking for was like the belt so I could tie it or something. And I might honestly style it and tie it in the back like a bow. I think I'm going to tie it in the back with a bow and then tie it out. And it's a matching outfit that y'all going to see in the next vlog. Um, yeah, it was just, I have a really cute outfit idea. I'm going to try it on so y'all can see. I hope y'all can see. Let me put it down somewhere. It's like, you know, so you can tie it this way. You can tie it like that. But it's longer in length. Than like a typical jacket so i don't know and regardless if i decide oops y'all my tripod is literally broken but regardless if i decide not to wear it with that outfit i can still you know it's still cute like i don't know it kind of gives like business businessy type of vibe all right Hey guys, um, the last part of our at-home maintenance preparation or whatever is the blinkers. Um, so typically, you guys, if you've seen some of my other videos, y'all know I always use my individuals and I do individuals. But, truthfully, they take a very long time and I kind of want something quick and easy. So I'm going to go ahead and do clusters. Um, but I think I'm going to use the clusters as the base and then I might use some of the individuals and fill them in. So this honestly is such a better, you know, follow along for people who aren't, you know, advanced with doing the individuals. Because I've been doing those for a long time. Um, and they take time. They're very tedious. But these don't take that much time and they're not tedious at all. Lux by IMV. So like the IMV brand is my favorite brand. You can find any clusters, but the best ones I found are the V Lux ones. Um and I feel like they're like much more softer. And these are the V L E I O six or one oh six. I don't know. Let me try to see. Yeah, that's what they look like. This is the package. If you guys want to get it and it comes in like this package and it has like V Lux I Envy on the clear package Envy brand, and I use these sometimes, but these are a bit longer, so sometimes I would rotate between both of these and mix them up. Um, and these clusters are also thicker. Like they have like three blunt bands, these have two. Yeah. So I just mix that, and then I just would use if I want to add any more fullness, I would just use the QL. Um, you know, individual lashes. These are just. Um, 0 0.10 D-Mix, and I would use these. And then, I just use the glue that I use is the Ardell Lash Adhesive. Um, it's the Ardell Lash Dark Adhesive Glue. Sorry, they're really dirty, but 
I have a thicker tweezer. This helps like grip it better. And then I just have my smaller like nose tweezers. And the nose tweezers are like finer tip and I'm able to pick up the individuals better. Pick it up. And we're gonna just dip it into the glue. wipe a little bit off and we're literally gonna put it right on the end like right here i just want to make sure i do it right but that's where it's going to be at and don't put it on your water line put it right above it this one on i can see it at the end and and the thing about clusters is that i haven't really found any really really long clusters so these would be short and really full um but if you want them to be longer, you can 100% like use individuals and put those on there. But we're gonna go ahead and do the same thing again. I think I might try these and see how these go. So these are a bit longer. I haven't used these in a long time. It's thicker, much fuller. Like these are really, really thick. Um, the other ones are like kind of daintier, but I still like the dainty look sometimes. But I'm just gonna alternate between both. It's like half full and also dainty. The best of both worlds, but it's really that simple, y'all. Um, I'm gonna just continue um, alternating between the smaller ones, thicker ones, all the way till I get to the end. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And y'all probably saw, but I just took a fan and I literally just held it up just so it could dry faster. But yeah. Um, I didn't finish the inner corners because I was getting ready to use the smaller ones. But I was like, I think I'm going to go ahead and use my individuals um, and make little and make little clusters and just put them on in the inner corner. But you don't have to do that. Honestly, you can leave it, put mascara on it, or you can just go ahead with the, um, the regular, like, smaller clusters. Okay, so this is what we have so far. And this is just straight of the clusters. I didn't do any individuals. I actually did some right here, but they kind of irritated me, so I just took them out. So I typically never do them, but for this to be quick and easy in like five hours, they're cool. Like, they get the job done. All right, so here are the blinkers. Um, Did the same exact thing on this side. Yeah. And that's literally it. If you want to make them fuller, longer, go ahead and use your extensions, um, your individuals, and just put them in there. But that honestly concludes this video. We did our nails. We did our hair. My hair is a scarf now because my edges aren't done. But we did our hair. And then we did our lashes. And we also got some clothes maintenance. Um, some thrift store clothes, you know. But yeah, that's pretty much the end of this video. I hope you guys learned something. Um, you know, this is kind of like a follow along with me. If you need me to go in-depth anything, I could 100% like do an in-depth hair tutorial. But like, you know, I feel like following along videos sometimes help people better than just like, here's this. Like, if you follow along, you're like, okay, I got the, I got the memo. But if you need that, any more clarity, just let me know in the comments section. I will 100% do a whole another video on that because i'm definitely with hairstyle again it's really really cute but you're probably like why do we do all this well in my next video i'm definitely going to be going out you're going to be putting this at home maintenance to use so stay tuned for my next video if you want to see me you know just spend the day with me on my adventures take some pictures because yeah <laughs> it's like that <clears throat> whoa but yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned anything. If you have any more questions, just let me know. And have a great rest of your day, guys. And thanks for tuning in. Bye. 24-7, what's the 411? When you see me now like Kaepernick, call